senior executive living off his alive hill and hearty is an utmost desire this feeling was brought to life as the managing director of the nigeria deposit insurance corporation ndic umar ibrahim formally disengages from service having successfully completed two terms spanning 10 years leah katung babatunde reports that also exiting the service of the corporation is the executive director operations The end of an era. This is the last time Omar Ibrahim will walk into these premises as the chief executive officer of the NDRC. During his leadership, the corporation collaborated with the Central Bank of Nigeria to develop the critical resolution framework that saved the banking system from systemic crisis twice in 2011 and 2018 with the introduction of bridge bank failure resolution uh, mechanism that addressed the, the distress in four failed banks. Afribank, Bank PHB, Spring Bank and Sky Bank. The bridge bank mechanism was adopted as a cost-effective option of guaranteeing billions of depositors' funds, saving thousands of jobs, as well as ensuring continuity of banking services. He implores the staff to keep the fire burning. And I assure you that by God's grace, I'm happy and fulfilled. Amen! This cannot be without the immense support and contribution of all the staff of the corporation. It has always been a teamwork mm -hmm. since we started in 1989. Mm -hmm. The corporation in the last 10 years successfully carried out the upward review of maximum insured limits for depositors of deposit money banks, extended deposit insurance cover to depositors of microfinance banks and primary mortgage banks, as well as introduced a deposit insurance to non-interest banks, payment service banks and mobile money banks. My prayer is that as we live in good health, Everybody here can also work in good health and live here in good health. Ibrahim was first appointed as MD in 2010, along with Eredjawa, a period the NDIC experienced tremendous transformation towards the robust implementation of its mandate and public policy objectives. He led the NDIC to foster stronger collaborations with the judiciary, external solicitors, the media, law enforcement agencies and civil society to expedite public awareness 